guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing my April favorites video because I have compiled all the things that I've really been enjoying for the month of April and it's quite a few things, not too much, so let's just go ahead and get straight into it. You guys know I'm a sucker for lashes and especially velour lashes. They're my absolute favorite brands of lashes and right now I have been loving Carly Lash. It's a really dramatic, full, wispy lash and I actually have them on right now. I just love the style of these lashes. I think Carly Bell did an amazing job. This is actually her collab uh, with Velour Lashes and yeah, it's just so beautiful. It gives you so much drama and they're perfect for nighttime. These are my absolute favorite lashes right now. Lately, I have been feeling a bit down about things because there's just been a few little hiccups going on in my life, which, you know, it happens. Every day isn't going to be an extremely happy day, but I just haven't been able to find inspiration really. So I tried to find an outlet for some inspiration and I decided to start reading a book and it's called Zen and the art of happiness and I'm actually reading it on audible so I'm not really reading it I'm just kind of listening audible is pretty much an app where they have over hundred fifty thousand different books of all different types of literature like fiction and nonfiction periodicals and classics so the app pretty much plays the book for you so you have someone just talking to you I'm honestly not really a reader but audible makes it a lot more enjoyable to get through a book only because I just have to listen and I'm a great listener and I've always been told that my whole life actually but um, yeah I think that actually listening to a story and having someone kind of narrate it for me um, I can get through a book like that so I feel like this app is perfect for me because I'm kind of too lazy to read sometimes I think it's really great because you can kind of listen while you're doing the dishes or if I'm stuck in traffic I can just you know play the book or if you're like on a flight I don't know just hearing that kind of calm narrator talk to me is like really soothing for some reason. Zen and the Art of Happiness is by Chris Prentice and the book is pretty much about how to really become happy and how to kind of live a better life and how to really think especially for those who are always down or if you're really depressed. Books like this are very helpful. They're really good points that they make that makes you kind of take a step back and think like what, what can I do differently in my life to you know better myself and I'm not done with the book, but I've really been enjoying it and it's honestly have helped me kind of bring some light back into my world and kind of just regain some inspiration and you know just kind of recollect some more positive energy because I have definitely been lacking in that area for um, the past few weeks or so but I've really been enjoying this book and it's just so positive and I really recommend it to you guys um, to check it out because it's an awesome book so just for my viewers audible is actually giving each of you a free audiobook to try it out and see what you think if you guys would like to to check out the book that I'm reading right now or a different book because there's so many different books to choose from on Audible. I will put the link right here and it's audible.com slash Sophia. So if you like, check it out and let me know what you think. My homegirl Steph, Soothing Sista, came out with a gorgeous palette and Stephanie pretty much collabed with Mimi Box and this is what the palette looks like. She created this gorgeous palette with some of my favorite kind of colors which are very plummy. I'm actually wearing her palette on my eyes today. I just love colors with the plum undertones. I think those colors look good on everyone. Yeah, I think this palette is awesome. So I wanted to share it with you guys because I've been using it quite often. Um, my favorite colors would definitely be the matte ones on the top which is Sutro and Valencia they're really nice transition colors so yeah so great job Steph I am loving this palette and you guys should check it out if you haven't already summer is right around the corner and even in spring the pollen is starting to form and allergies are just starting to go crazy on everyone well especially me because I am just allergic to like dust and pollen and I feel like in the summer I'm just like miserable and my eyes tend to get 
super duper irritated. A few days ago, I had a really bad swollen eye. Like, I mean, the insides were just swollen. And it happens quite often because sometimes I'm just rubbing my eyes without realizing and my eye starts to get red. And the like white part of my eye will literally like swell up. And if anyone's with me and they see it, they always say I should go to the doctors because it looks that bad. But I always tell them, no. I have a cure and it is just this right here and these are roto eye drops and this one is in the arctic these are some interesting eye drops because they're very 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 strong in a sense it's very cooling so you get this like cooling sensation and it's just like an ice cube touching your eye and I know it's a little strong for some people but for me it really just takes away the redness it literally like cures my pink eye or whatever you call it in like 10 minutes and it's crazy so a few drops of these really really save my eyes all the time so thank you Brodo I love these eye drops um, if you've never used them before and you're interested uh, I think they're at CVS or any kind of drugstore but just go slow and just do one drop at a time because they're like really really strong so yeah I just thought I'd share this with you guys because it's crazy how sometimes I don't have to go to the doctors and all I need to do is just get a few drops of this of course I have to include my lipstick kimchi doll because I have honestly been wearing the crap out of this if you see me post an Instagram picture and I have a new lip on nine times out of ten I am wearing kimchi doll which is my lipstick and I have a little piece of lint on here. This is my lipstick collaboration with Gerard Cosmetics and the name is Kimchi Doll and a lot of people don't understand why but my viewers do. <laughs> so it has my signature on the actual package which is pretty freaking awesome. The signature tubes are limited edition and the signature packages are running out really fast so once the tubes with my signature on it are gone then that's it and it kind of sucks but I hope a lot of you were able to get your hands on the one with my signature on it they still have some left so if you would like to get one then make sure you grab it now this nude is like the perfect nude for me and I just love to throw another nude lip gloss over it and I I love it it's my favorite nude I've seen so many pictures that people tag me in it looks awesome on a lot of you so I'm really glad you guys enjoy it my last favorite is this highlighter right here and this is from MAC and I really hope MAC still has this color it's the extra dimension skin finish and this is in whisper of guilt I wear this as a highlighter obviously I love this highlighter because it's not super intense like most of the highlighters that I have it's so controllable my favorite way to use this is just taking kind of like a synthetic brush grabbing some product and then I'll spray a light mist to fix plus on it just to kind of activate it so that I get a little bit more shine so then I'll apply it to my cheekbones down the bridge of my nose on my cupid's bow and right now I actually am wearing it on my brow bone so I use it all over my face and I love it so much it's really a soft gentle kind of highlight I'm not big on really really dramatic you know shimmer highlights so I just want something nice and subtle I am in love with this highlight and there you have it. These were my favorites for the month of April. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you would like to check out any of the items that I mentioned, I will definitely link it in the description box below so make sure you check it out. I hope you're having an amazing week. Oh and before I go, I would just like to mention I am on Snapchat. My user is SophiaChang92. Yeah, I've just been snapping a lot lately and it's pretty random things sometimes pretty funny and sometimes it's just like Sophie what the hell are you doing but um, I definitely love to use snapchat quite often so if you guys you know are interested in checking me out on there then go ahead and add me and um, I would love to chat with you guys I also try to make it a point to kind of have talking sessions with you guys so I do snap some people back and um, yeah I want to chat with you guys so make sure you add me on there I think that's about it for this video Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!